All right, I've been getting some comments on the soft closing door from Handshow that you can't get out the vehicle when the power is out or using the emergency latch. So look, the soft closing still works. All right, assuming power's out, here's the emergency latch. Works as normal. To be honest, a lot of these aftermarket accessories modification is only good as the installer. I personally installed this myself, pretty confident with the product, no issues so far. Not sure what the BS is all about where people are complaining they can't use this latch. And when you test this out, make sure your window is down partially so it doesn't mess up the trim. Um, or else you're gonna get the alert on the, well you get the alert on the display anyways so let's try this on the driver's side so let's say your your power's out you're in an emergency let's roll down the window a little bit all right this also have stop closing all right let's lower the window again all right check this out Not sure what people are complaining about, but uh, not being paid to to promote this or anything right now. Um, to show the emergency still works. Even soft close when you use the emergency latch. So not sure what people were complaining about, or at least a, a couple of them. Um, not sure if they're actually installing it correctly um, but if you want to know how to install it check out our past video again i mean i can do this all day anyways again hand, hand show soft closing and it still works How much more abuse do you want me to do this? I'm going to mess up my trim for sure, even with the windows down with this. All right. Um, you have any question? DM us on Instagram again. Any aftermarket accessories, including hand show, any other product, it's only good as the installer. Make sure you find a good installer because if you try to save a nickel a dime on installation, you'd be struggling um, with a lot of problems. Same thing with the auto uh, presenting door handle. Been on here almost a year. No issue. The only issue we had was the latest firmware update for the 2022.30 something. That was the only time we had to update the software. But so far, yeah, been working just fine. You can see all the beads I have on here. And again, install this myself. Insulation, um, you know, it took a day, almost a day, but again, it was my first time. Just take your time. If you're not comfortable with it, have someone else install it for you. Again, even the emergency latch in the back works just fine. And uh, if you want to wear that emergency latches, let me show you. It's down here. So... And we're gonna be installing an emergency latch pull on here, but basically you lift up this this rubber piece and pull up that cover. We also did a video on that. You pull on that bicycle type of wire and it opens up. All right, hopefully you find this video helpful and address the concerns that people have that emergency latch is not working. Likely the, the problem with it not working is because whoever installed it forgot to put the latch back. That's the only thing I can think of. Um, so if it's not working, take it back to where you got to install and have them check the door for the emergency latch. Likely they forgot to uh, put that plug back where it's supposed to be. Catch you all next time. Remember to subscribe.